Hello, all. Welcome back to Be a Creative. This week, I'm coming at you with just straight up gel printing. That's right, a whole 10 minutes and 47 seconds of gel prints, nothing but gel prints, and more gel printing. I didn't even make a project with it at the end. There's no cute little tag. There's no art journal page. I just wanted gel print. I might not even do anything with these. Hell, I might just stand in my craft room window and make a rain gel prints. I don't know. I was just having fun. I had finished about, oh, two and a half hours of psychopharmacology homework, and I needed to decompress. I also wanted to test out some of my new paper artsy fresco paints that I just got. Well, I say just, like they came in a little bit ago. I've been procrastinating trying them out. But they were actually a recommendation from a subscriber. So big shout out to Mini Book pixie for recommending these amazing paints uh you were totally right they are incredible they're super creamy and the colors are just fantastic you, so you're actually going to see me go through almost all of the colors that i wound up uh, getting and i didn't get the entire collection by no means but I got the colors that I figured I would use the most. I did struggle a little bit um, in some of this, but I decided to leave it in because as me and a friend were talking, there is a warming up period when you're gel printing, I think. It takes a little bit to kind of get in the groove. And then, then you start pulling freaking amazing gel prints and you're like, nothing can stop me. Then you peek, you pull that one awesome print, and then after that, it's just all downhill. So I've decided to leave in that entire process. What you're seeing now is me starting to warm up. I'm starting to get a little creative. I'm using mostly foam stamps and joggles, uh, joggles and stencil girl stencils. Check the description box below for a list of the full supplies. This was also a very different color palette than what I was used to working with. As you guys know, I'm like, the biggest Dina Wakely fan in the whole world. So I primarily only use her paints on my gel plate. Her paints are heavy bodied acrylic and I had forgotten that using more fluid acrylics allows me to do a lot of really interesting things on the gel plate that I just can't really get the same results with using a heavy body. So for example, uh, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, which I totally hope you will, you'll see the last two prints are one of those techniques where I let the layers dry and then pull them in one fell swoop. I was super excited about that because I've been thinking about doing a single pull video um, just to see if I can get like that one awesome pull by just letting the, the layers dry. Uh, let me know in the description box below if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Also, would like to take this time uh, to ask, what are some videos that you guys would like to see? Do you guys want, you know, more mixed media tags? Do you guys just want gel printing? Uh, let me know. I've been trying to come up with uh, some creative ways to keep my channel interesting and exciting. Uh, short of like bringing in a flamethrower and, I don't know, doing like extreme crafting on a roller coaster or bungee jumping while we gel plate, I am coming up short. Basically, I'm crowdsourcing this shit and I need ideas. I have considered, however, uh, reaching out to Morgan Freeman to see if he would narrate some of my videos, but uh, my husband assures me that that is probably never going to happen. My other option is just to kind of put up pictures of people holding baby tigers because everyone really seems to like that, though I feel Tiger King kind of ruined that. And I don't, I don't know that I want to do that. So give me some, some ideas. What do you guys want to see? I really like doing tags and, um, I'm probably always going to do tags, but if you guys want more gloss sprays, more scribble sticks, I am dying for someone to ask me to review a product. Really? I, I'm just waiting for that. I don't want to be presumptuous and do it without asking. Somebody please just ask me if you are holding back out of respect for me, uh, don't. I'm just looking for a reason. Just looking for a reason to review a product. I also want to say thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed. I'm working really hard on building up uh, our little community here and you guys are a big part of that. My channel's been up and running for a year and we are so close to hitting 500 subscribers, only 106 people away. So thank you to everyone who watches every week and you guys don't know how much I appreciate that. 
Okay, so that's enough of the general housekeeping. Uh, I'm sure you guys did not tune in just to listen to me ramble for exactly uh, six and a half more minutes. Let's get back to the gel printing. So as you can see, um, if you, I don't know, maybe you muted me and you've just been watching the whole time, I'm primarily working in the same color family. That was something that I noticed about the paper artsy paints when I was looking at them. And I got all of these uh, from Joggles, by the way, so that if you're looking for paper artsy paints here in the States, Joggles is the only place I have found them. I was noticing um, on the website that they, this company really seems to, to sell them by color family. And I thought that that was outstanding because sometimes like tone on tone is so pretty. And if you don't have the right value in the color, then it can, it, it can, it can look a little funky. Like if it's too big of a color jump, I guess is what I'm saying. So when you buy a color there, you were able to buy like the entire color set, like the whole lineup, if that's your thing. And I really appreciated that from the company. They also went on the plate really smooth and that was something that I really enjoyed as well. But like I had said earlier in the video, the color palette was vastly different than what I was used to. They are a fresco paint, uh, so I think they're kind of like chalky. They're a little milky. I don't know. That I did think about just like rubbing a little bit on my hand. They're so smooth. It's incredible. I really like them, and I was kind of like, hmm, where have these been all my life? The prints that I got from this, I'm pulling on just regular old copy paper because, like I said earlier, I didn't have any plans for this. And I always use copy paper when I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the prints because more than likely they will wind up in collage. I also think that they, I just realized I'm, I'm kind of doing a review of this and nobody asked me. I'm sorry. I, I can't help it. I have a lot of opinions. Anyway. I do want to kind of stress the importance of the paper that you use when you're pulling prints. The color of the paper really matters. So I always like to pull prints on bright white paper, whether that's regular copy paper, like again I said I'm using here, or if it's heavyweight cardstock, I always try to find the brightest white. Uh, please remember, I am not an expert in this. This is just things that I have picked up uh, over the years of gel printing. And I really think that the, the color of the paper makes the print look better. Even if you're using cheaper paint, like the 60, 70 cent paint from Walmart. Oh, that one was so good. Oh, I love that. Um, it, anyway, back to, uh, I just interrupted my own self. That is ridiculous. So even if you're using cheaper quality craft paints, which actually typically tend to work better on the gel plate, a bright white cardstock will elevate that color. Another tip uh, that I'd like to share is actually something that you've been seeing this whole time and it's the paper that I brayer off on. Uh, I, I brayer off on deli paper and I do that for two reasons. One, because it makes incredible collage for later, but it's also kind of a sneaky way to see how well the colors are going to interact. I don't change my deli paper very often. Uh, you'll only ever see me add a new piece when it's just become so saturated with paint that I can't, I can't like add anything else to it. It's not actually brayering off anymore. But by doing so, I'm able to see if the color combinations that I've put down, how they're going to look on paper, which gives me a sneak peek into how the print's going to look. So I know that if, mm, you know what, this color is probably not going to do so well, I can quickly change gears and pull it off on a clean print or put it over top of something. It, it really helps me navigate the colors on the gel plate. And that little tip is what uh, I think helped me pull off this single pull print. So what you've been watching me doing while I was just talking at you was laying down layers of paint through stencils and I was letting them dry in between. And because this is thinner, it didn't take for forever for it to dry on my gel print. So I used this last layer, even though it was done through a stencil, to pull the entire plate. And that is one of my most favorite prints that I pulled. Notice that it came came basically at the end of my gel printing session. Uh, you, you guys are seeing me peek right here. This one in the next print. There's still a little bit left, so I'm gonna add just a very thin layer of more paint and I'm gonna pull what's left and that is incredible. Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, this is just so satisfying. I hope everyone could get a gel plate. That This is probably like my absolute favorite thing to do. That one was so successful, I decided to try it again, and I am adding just a little bit more of some paint through a stencil. That color was cheesecake, 
and it has emerged as a clear favorite. That one and Blue Bayou, I think, but I'll list all of them in the description box below. I'm again, let it dry. I added some more paint over top of it and I'm using a foam stamp just to add some texture. Once that is dry, I'm gonna go back in with the, that Blue Bayou, as I said, has emerged as a clear favorite among their color palette lineup. Once that's dry, I'm taking another blue in that same color family, and this is how I'm gonna pull the print. Actually, nope, my bad, that was buff. I used buff to pull it. And as you can see, it all came up. Oh my gosh, just so pretty. So here are the prints that we pulled. Uh, some of them, you know, they weren't real crazy. I didn't do a lot to. I was just trying to have fun and experiment. Uh, that one, get the hell out of here. We don't like that. And the rest of them, though, I think came out great. And you can see that I didn't do a lot to them. I just used a few foam stamps and basically a few stencils. All right, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Hey, here's some more videos that you might like. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can see more of my content.